Breathtaking views and challenging trails await those who visit the mountains of South Cebu. Many of its peaks are frequented by tourists keen to get away from the hustle and bustle of city life. Samuel Innocendo is a regular visitor. But unlike the others, the city hall worker is here to continue a hunting tradition. The 49-year-old took us on one of his trips. It took us two hours of hiking to reach the first booby trap he set up. Samuel takes his catch back to the city where he lives together with the other members of the Arti community. Their community is a nomadic ethnic cluster in the Visayas, in the central portion of the Philippines. It's believed that they are the first inhabitants of the archipelago, coming from Borneo, where they first settled 30,000 years ago. I worked in Naga, but I worked in Iloilo. Ang una una jud nga ni abot diri sa naga ako iyoan sige sila ari diri unya nagpuyo sa kanang mga daplin sa pa pag abot sa isa ka tuig balik ka sa sila sa Iloilo kada tuig no nan sila mo balik diri sa naga kuan sila sa kanang yuta nga kanang walay mga balay nananghid sila nga naara sila mapuyo diha mo buhat og kanang payag-payag Nanuroy sila sa tambal, unya, kanang mga silit sa mga bata, kanana sa mga buyag, mga himughat, mga na ilagi, maligya. Sa ilo-ilo, lisod gayo ang pagpangita sa kanang trabaho, mga kanang pinagi, mga sa kusog yun ba nga, kada lihok ni mo, kusog. Unya, sahay, ang kao ni mo, marag, mag, Mapasaran sa kaon tungod sa imo paningkamot. Pag abot na mo dire, nagpabuto pa to og pagka mayor. Maniya da og ngon ko mayor. Patrabaho ko be. Ya, oh, problema, traffic ka, traffic. <laughs> traffic, traffic ko dito. After working as a traffic enforcer, Samuel was hired by the city's engineering department as a laborer. He now works as a market cleaner for the city government. Ako nga tayo dire alas 6 sa buntag. Alas 5, lakaw na ko ana kay kasi malit ko ba. Ako na sa siligan, ana silhig baga human ano yung mga sagbot, labay dito. Map na sad map. The job is a source of livelihood for Samuel and his children who are still in school. Nalipa may ma'am nga ang amo mga anak nag-eskwila kay ngon ko ato pa eskwila ho ni para makabawi-bawi sa papa ni kay wala ka eskwila ang papa. Pengon ko nga bahalag mga ate kita kung sa'y pagtanaw sa tao kinanglan nga na alam gin mo. Samuel also makes it a point to pass down to his children some of the RT people's traditions. Nay anak ko ko diha ma'am nga good for gitudlo anak ko na sa ala pangita glutsan ni mog asa kamo age taon-taon kita bilin to babaw gakamang sa ito bakilen og na train ako bao na sa mo ana og bitag ana He also tells them about Arti's traditional marriage rites Tubo bitaw nga yuta na bungsod tuyo ko na sa suga mudagan ang babaye unya gukuron sa lalaki og maabsan sa lalaki Minyon ato sila nga duha pagkahuman ato ikasal sila sa murag pare sa amo tribo sad human ang kasal bahala mo magkisal magkisal sad mo 
With greater interaction between the Arties and members of other communities, it comes as no surprise that many locals have married into their community. From around 30 families, there are now more than 100 in their village. Like other parents concerned about modern influences such as cell phones and the internet, Samuel is worried that his children will forget what it's like to be a member of the Arti tribe. While Samuel tries to maintain traditional ties, his boss, Anisito Almilio, or Sito, is happy to fully embrace modernity. Sito used to come down to the city every once in a while, he even worked in an interior design company for a time, but eventually came back to their mountain village to serve as a village councillor for 10 years. But the 47-year-old returned again to Naga City, where he now lives with his family. Hello. Sito's child is also studying in the city. Sito currently works as the market supervisor in Naga City, Cebu. To improve his job prospects, he took up a degree in public administration and has just graduated. Dako kayo og kalainan kay didto manggod ko naka sa mountain barangay di manggod ka ingon nga palito ni mong tanan kun kugihan ka kay pwede ra bang kamo tanom og imong kaugalingon pero diri manggod di pa rin siya jud kayo kay unsa may imong tamnan din he so ang tanan imong giyong paliton despite missing the fresh air and view of the mountains Sito has fully embraced city life his job involves monitoring and ensuring the cleanliness of the market through closed circuit televisions. Kinisiya mauni ang ato ang labutanganan sa mga vegetables kada malata. Unya kinisiya mo nila bayanan nato sa mga plastic. Ako mo sila ipatawag kay makita man ako sa kamera. In the Philippines, the government has a commission that helps improve the living conditions of its indigenous peoples, such as the Artis. Among problems being addressed are social discrimination and economic marginalization. The indigenous community comprises below 20% of the country's population of 100 million. The Naga city government says there are no specific plans to help individual communities. Government services they say are extended to everyone. Ang Ati tribe Giyod de Risenaga has been embraced as really part of the community. So di nataka distinguish ang Ataganaga or Dili Taganaga. So meaning to say, if we want to provide employment to Taganaga, that includes the members of the Ati tribe. So if qualified lang po o na iposesyon bal nila, and then sama ni Samuel, uh, sila sa city government. During my time in 2016, nag open na tao primary school good near their community. Although before na extension classes, but wala pag official nga structures or classrooms. Paro na nagit sila own dili sa ingon nga exclusive for them, but uh, very near where the community they're staying. Samuel was among the first to arrive in Cebu when the RT people came to Naga City 18 years ago. Although he has retired from the nomadic ways, he still does his part in keeping some aspects of his traditions alive. Sito, on the other hand, has chosen to relocate because of new opportunities in the city. Education and better job opportunities, as well as the attraction of living in a large city with modern amenities, have been big reasons for them to transfer to the city. The choices that they have made will not only affect their own lives, but also the future of the mountainous community elsewhere.